guys good morning thanks again for tuning back into the channel we are up early we have we have snacks we have a cooler we have both bikes on the back both bikes are on there the dirt jumper and the gt so that can only mean one thing right we are headed to Asheville, Brevard, North Carolina, that kind of area. Yeah, I have a four and a half hour drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna put on some tunes and wake up and get this drive started. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that view. And as you can see, uh, I believe we are actually in North Carolina now. We are at the North Carolina Scenic Overlook. So I really hope you enjoyed that little view of the mountains there in the background. I don't know if you could tell, but it's super windy and a little chilly up here on this mountain. But as of right this second, I have about 28 minutes left till I get to my first stop. And I'm really excited to get to show you guys this place. Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading on it. There's a lot of YouTube videos on this place where I'm going, but there isn't a whole lot of coverage or more talk about it. But based on what I've seen, it looks like a whole lot of fun. And I think it needs more coverage. So I'm definitely gonna take this time to have my first location be this place. And I'm really excited, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Got the bikes all loaded up as you saw also. They're all strapped down and this is actually the first time I've had them both together on a trip since I've built the GT and got the Octane. Pretty pumped about that and I can't wait to ride both of them. Carolina is definitely a place that will serve as a great place to ride both. I'm going to get back on the road, uh, make probably one more stop before I get to my first location to use the bathroom. But other than that, guys, let's get back on the road and I'll catch you back when we get there. Guys, we finally made it to our first stop, which is, I'm going to show it here because I haven't gotten out just yet, but that is Colo Bike Park. So I am finally able to get here after researching it, after trying to find out where I, what I wanted to do when I come down to North Carolina. Um, so yeah, the, you know, there's a lot that I do want to do while I'm here. I'm definitely going to do what I can, um, but considering this was on the way in i figured why not heck let's just go ahead and jump to it because like I, I got both bikes um what i understand this park has a lot of uh you know all skill level type stuff so i'm really excited to see what they have and uh yeah do my put my wheels down here at colo bike park in Asheville, north carolina so this is colo bike park or adventure center Asheville. whether it be zip lining or riding bikes or something for the entire family to do here just five minutes from downtown Asheville be sure to stop by here if you're in the area and as I go over the map here you can see there's tons and tons to do here between mountain bike trails uh, places to eat places to park stuff like that with you know a bunch of different types of trails here there's plenty to do so definitely get out here and give Colo Bike Park a look and experience all that they have to offer while you're there guys so this is my first little i'm gonna say exploration of this park because i have no idea where to go i checked the map out like you guys did there and yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna kind of follow some of the line here someone else's trail and figure out where i need to go again guys i'm in Asheville for the next couple days riding uh again first stop is cola bike park here in Asheville. so i'm super pumped to be riding so yeah, let's get out here and explore a little bit. So from the looks of it, this looks like the ropes. It's just a green. We'll see what it entails. I don't know. Oh, wow. Super windy. Oh, 
Ooh, I should have added a little air to the front and rear. Big berms, bubblicious. We'll go with the, with the blue line. Well, we'll go blue. Super fun. Hey, guys, got tons of flow here. I love it. Of course, we're gonna take the techie line here. We'll go down this one since we're already started. Oh, yeah. Let's go up top. Put these hopes hubs to work today. Woo. Yeah guys, so so from my understanding this is a very very progressive park. Right, guys so i did get a little turned around which is fine again i'm learning i haven't been here i've studied the map a little bit but that's about it so supposed to go this way across here and then i think this way ah, and hit the tree <laughs> yeah i think it's it's showing the map going this way, which takes you up and around, I believe. There we go guys nope all good i just went to I believe i turned off on the wrong way this should take us back to a greenway type deal now on to the next little system there we go all right so i believe that was bubblicious if i'm not mistaken Oh yeah cool deal super cool lots of jumps lots of little techie things stuff like that so super cool to see i think i'm on the grass which um, i'm in the wrong here <laughs> that's all right i'm look i'm looking around exploring <clears throat> that's a blue but i don't know if that's an out or an in so we'll hold off it almost looks like an out I'm just gonna take a little walk up here. We got some wood features over here as well. A lot of little like 
places for golf carts so definitely um keep an eye out i'm just trying to find the best way to get in here to the trail so let me take a look at the map okay so i got my got my trusty map out and found out that i am headed to four which i believe is right here in front of me with just a short little little ride again i don't know if i'm going the right way i'm just figuring it out okay here's something a little, little bit of pave Okay, after some exploration, I found that this is the lower pump track. So let's take a little lap on this. This is just one of three, um, I think is what I was seeing. And like I said, I got a lot of skill stuff over here, which is pretty cool. So let me take a little lap on this and we'll see. I don't know what this entails because it looks short. So I don't know if this big bike is going to be okay for this. Wait for this little kid to go by. Okay, that's fun. And now we're gonna go down Word, which is their black diamond. So let's uh let's check out what Word's all about. Oh wow, <laughs> those got big quick. Let's check the rest of it out. I know I've been lost at all, but let's look at it. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, short little, little black jump line. Yeah, I like that. That's super cool. I think we're gonna go back around and maybe give it a try. All right, so again, that's Word. So I'm gonna pedal back up here and maybe do another run. Let's, let's see if I can do that second third third feature there Ooh. all right i think we'll take one more stab at word and then maybe go and check out something else they got a lot of these little drops and stuff over here i definitely want to make a round and try those out they look pretty sweet but yeah i mean they got zip lining going on super super cool up here i really like this place for you know kids for intermediate people i mean anything it's been great so far i think i think for what it's worth it's super fun other than the little mishap that i had but yeah so let's uh take another little slab at word and then we will continue on and see what else this park has to offer there we go nope I'm not comfortable with that one i'll take it i got the big ah, i got the big hip so cool deal so this is the no skills area which is the dirt jumps from what i gather they have a green blue and the black lines and as you can see to my left is the blue line and my right is the black line the black line was still being worked on on this day but from the looks of it, it looks really well maintained and it looks like the staff actually really cares about the jumps definitely a little windy over there even for those small doubles so no problem all good i got i did clear a couple of times but yeah we're gonna we're gonna go check out some other stuff we'll figure out this line for this drop it looks pretty fun so all right let's get to it let me get in the right line how about that let's 
do the smaller one. Okay, easy. Oh, that was fun. They do have these big drops. Let's take a look at them before I send anything. I'm glad I looked at those rocks earlier too. Yeah, they have some, there's some decent drops for what they're worth. You got this, this one here and then that one. And it's a pretty good little drop down. Yeah, this is right below the skills park too. So that's pretty cool. So they've definitely built up the lips. They look good. A little soft this is a little steep even though it's pretty much probably just a roll off but yeah i think uh let's uh let's check out this first one and we'll go from there all right guys so yeah as you can see i'm in a shipping in a track in a trailer that's got these cool decorations on i believe the trail comes into this but i haven't made it there yet florence you know the heart of the fun and uh it's not too busy so i'm not worried about running in a bunch of people but yeah, this is this is pretty cool to see. Now I'm gonna backtrack up here to see where this comes into, so I can kind of link it through, and then do that. So, All right, just from that climb that I did up, it looks like it is part of OG Green. I'm gonna verify that. Looks like there's another line over there too. Check this out. Okay. All right, on the boardwalk. I guess this is where that trailer is, I think. Trailer park, okay, okay. Link something together, super creative over here. Oh yeah, super fun. Oh yeah. I didn't check my tire before I started today oh yeah that was pretty fun actually <laughs> let's try and piece this together okay so it starts out as a blue okay great so then it looks like you can choose blue or jumps so there's a jump a little catch berm Okay, we'll go black or a green. Here's another drop, which uh, that looks that looks okay, but definitely a flat, 100% a big flat drop. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing that one. But anyway, let's keep on going. The blue. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I think this is the one I was on earlier. Do a little bit of steep ride in here. There we go. All right guys, so we're on the boardwalk, which is their last black diamond that I think I need a ride. So, even though clear thing, oh well, fun to ride. So, let's uh, let's go check this out. It's called the diving board, not boardwalk, diving board. And it is steep. There we go. Not bad. Yeah, guys. So one of the features that Percolo is known for, or really has that a lot of people like is this little wall ride over here so i'm actually going to back up and come back down this because i haven't been able to find it and it's on a trail called noodle so let me backtrack and then we're going to come down it just a little, little up and over technical rock thing 
Little roller. Little roller. Another little roller. Yeah, here we go. Little drop. Okay. Catch a bomb. Alright guys, well I really hope you enjoyed my time here at Colo Bike Park. It's actually been a whole lot of fun. Um, there isn't a whole lot of single track out here like I previously said. It's only about three miles. I've done a couple things, you know, a couple times already and kind of exhausted all that I could really do except some of the skills. Thanks again for riding Polo with me and we'll see you next time.